On day five of Can't Get Online Week and I've come to Byers Green in County Durham and this is at the end of a very impassioned meeting. There's obviously a lot of strong feelings here about um, the problems that this village has with broadband. So I'm here with Councillor Kevin Toms. Um, so Kevin, uh, can you just tell me a little bit about what was discussed in the meeting and the, the issues that this community feels strongly about? Well, first of all, I'd like to say that last night the turnout for me was unbelievable. I, on a regular basis, go to various community meetings uh, and where we encourage the people to come along, AAP, packed. But last night, I just dwarfed anything like that. The feeling in this village about getting super fast broadband surprised me. Uh, I cover quite a large area, including the town of Spennymoor, where I personally live. Uh, and, uh, I have no problem, I've never had any problem, and I have been working for about a year with one person who would approach me by his screen, but even though I know about all the problems that they have in other areas, no one really came to me with a problem about broadband because they all thought it was BT. And they have lots of problems with BT, where they pay for so many meg, but never get anywhere near that. And and then when I when I start to sit down with people, the thing that really really surprised me was the fact that children were going to local schools, being set work assessments, uh, and then coming back and not being able to get on, onto the broadband. And some of our local children are having to stay in school, where the school has has some broadband. Uh, and to work through their lunch breaks, uh, stay at evenings, just just to keep level with other children who live in Spennymoor in super fast broadband or where they have a good broadband connection. Uh, and I, and as, a, as a grandfather and a parent, who's always been extremely interested in the education of my children, I couldn't believe this. At first I couldn't grasp it that these people were missing out on, on something that a lot of us were just taking for granted. Uh, I'm not a technical person, I've never really been a computer man, uh, I've, I've been dragged along by my work a little bit and by, and by being a county councillor uh, and even enabled me to, to, uh, to understand a little bit, but when I saw the depth of feeling, uh, it's amazing, the way now is uh, not having a good broadband connection is affecting people's lives in every area. Uh, uh, the education, social, the work life, uh, as, uh, there's lots of statistics which I've heard in the last few days, about 50% of the jobs have only been advertised on, on the internet. And um, I feel quite passionate about it. I mean, yes, politicians always get blamed for just being really interested in people's votes, but not in this particular one. I'm really passionate to try and help them out. Uh, and and I'm still a bit confused myself which would be the best way to go. Fortunately, Phil Jackman from the County Council is going to facilitate some further meetings and help us out. He's been really impressive. But I think this this, this is a social thing. Uh, it's everything. And, and I really can't understand why we're not up there doing it, why we have to beg and why we have to go and, you know, we not this way is to build for certain parts of the country. This is, should now be part of the infrastructure, like gas, electricity, water. It, it should be there, it should be on tap, and we should, it should be available for us. Thank you. Is that all right?